I am a big fan of PowerCLI, but as I work primarily on a Mac, I had to use Jump Server with the Windows to fully use the PowerCLI. There was a PowerCLI flink available, but the functionality was limited. Not anymore. VMware just released PowerCLI 10.0, which can be installed on OS X without any problems at all. The approach is pretty simple. Just install a homebrew, and using cask, we will install the PowerShell itself. I have already installed homebrew in the past, so I will skip this in the video. Homebrew is alternate package manager and a cask is add-on to homebrew to easily distribute and install applications. So as a first step, let's initialize our cask environment. It will take a few seconds and after finished, we can install PowerShell. And that's it. We have successfully installed PowerShell to our OS X computer. So let's give it a try. As you can see, it works like a charm. I have to deal with the colors in the terminal, but for now, let's stick with those. Now we can easily install PowerCLI modules directly from PowerShell. In the past, on Windows machines, you have to manually download PowerCLI packages from the VMware, but now it's not needed anymore. All is done from within the PowerShell itself. The installation will take a minute or two to download the packages and the installation itself. And it's done. So let's try to connect to our ESXi server. Connect v server is a standard PowerCLI command, so let's just fill in the IP address, username and password. And as you can see, there is a slight problem. Microsoft recently changed the behavior of PowerShell regarding the certificate handling. As we are using self-signed certificates, we need to alter such behavior. Luckily, there is just one command to do that, so let's do so. At this time, we should be able to connect to our ESXi server without any problems at all. Let's try to get all our virtual machines running on my ESXi server with getvm command. As you can see, we are able to retrieve the list of the virtual machines and as a last test, we will power on one of the virtual machines with start VM command. So as you can see, from now, you can easily use your OS X computer when working with automation of your vSphere environment. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. Also, you can subscribe to my newsletter as well. I will send you a summary of my new blog posts upcoming interesting webinars and much more, and I promise that I won't spam you. Maximum one email per month, I promise.